Invoyager.com charged Jennifer as the most popular girl's name in the 1970s, <laughs> the decade I was born. There were so many people in my high school named Jen that I learned not to respond to it unless my last name followed. To understand how I got my name, you'll need to know the name of everyone else in my family. When my father came to the U.S., he chose the name Nelson. And because my parents' firstborn was a boy, they wanted to find a name that also began with an N. They wanted something unique. My brother's name is Norbert. <laughs> NameWarrior.com shows that Norbert topped the charts at number 222 in 1920. <laughs> it wasn't even in the top 1,000 in the 1970s, also the decade he was born. My parents chose it because of the name's meaning, Northern Brightness. It's Germanic in origin. Two years and ten months after my brother's arrival, I was born. By then, my mother had learned that you could never buy souvenirs with the name Norbert on them. <laughs> <laughs> my mom's chosen English name is Julie. And since I came out a girl, my parents scoured the baby name books for popular J names and fell in love with the name Jennifer for both its popularity and its meaning, the fair one. What my mom hadn't anticipated was that because the name was so popular, souvenirs with my name on it were often sold out. <laughs> <laughs> so my full name is Jennifer Liu. No middle name, nothing. Everyone else in my family has their Chinese name as their middle name, like Julie Bao Yi Lu. Their middle names are on official documents, passports, licenses, and in my brother's case, on his birth certificate. The middle name field on my birth certificate? Blank. <laughs> Having no middle name is even more significant when you grow up in white middle class Connecticut, where everyone has one. It was a rough childhood. Not only did I have to learn how to ski, how to play tennis, and how to tie sweaters around my neck, <laughs> I also had to navigate through to New England, middle nameless. You're incomplete, friends would tell me. So I took matters into my own hands. And when I started seventh grade at Sage Park Middle School, I enrolled as Jennifer Elizabeth Liu. <laughs> I picked Elizabeth because it was the whitest name I could think of. <laughs> and my God, I wanted to be white. Because in Windsor, Connecticut, where less than 1% of the population is Chinese, white to me meant belonging. It meant being pretty and popular and that boys would like me. I had had it in my head that boys didn't like me because I was Chinese, different. But really, boys didn't like me because I was ugly. <laughs> this is my seventh grade yearbook photo. Notice the layered pro-like perm, the buck teeth and bangs, and let's not forget the really big hot and pink glasses. <laughs> By ninth grade, I was ready to shed my inner white Elizabeth, mainly because I thought the initials J-E-L looked stupid. <laughs> I returned to playing Jennifer Liu, and I started to like that I didn't have a middle name. And I liked that I was the only one in my family whose Chinese name wasn't also their middle name. I was two separate entities. My Chinese name is Lu Wan Yi. One day, I asked my mom, what does my Chinese name mean? What? My mom answered, it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> oh, uh, well, so what does Norbert's Chinese name mean? That's also nothing, I asked. Oh no, she said, her tone softening. His name means joy of the world. <laughs> no Chinese name had been picked out for me. Instead, my mom sent all my birth information back to Taiwan, sorry, <laughs> to, a Taiwani, to a Chinese astrologer. She needed to know what elements to include in my name based on my birth details. If you know nothing about Taiwanese culture, know that they are crazy superstitious. You can't leave rice uneaten on your plate. You can't put your chopstick standing up in a bowl. You can't give an umbrella or knives as gifts. And apparently, you can't name your daughter without an astrologer. 
The astrologer said that my name needed Jade. This is the character for Jade. This is a common variation on the character for Jade. In Chinese culture, Jade is said to possess the five essential virtues of Chinese philosophy. Compassion, modesty, courage, justice, and wisdom. So as she created my name, my mom wove in as much Jade as possible. Lu means land. Wan means gentle, gracious. Wan is traditionally written with the female root, but my mom swapped it out and put it in the J root. <laughs> Yi is an antiquated version for the character for J. So I guess that makes my name mean the land of gentle J. <laughs> so that is how I came to be named with two names. A simple English name and a customized Chinese one. Actually, if you count my nicknames, I have at least 15. They range from the obvious abbreviations like J. Lu to the more story-based ones like Gimpy, Adi Lu, and Evil. <laughs> then there are the nicknames that reflect your stage in life. A few years ago, I started making mass changes in my life, challenging old traditional beliefs and exploring new trains of thought. When you clean house and tear down that great wall, it's easy to second guess what you're doing. Yet through it, I gained a greater sense of self-confidence I stopped trying to be something I wasn't, or something others wanted me to be. I was free to be me, enough so that the spunk and spark returned to my life. Enough so that a good friend of mine started calling me Jet 2.0. Spit out a sassy, witty comment, and Mike would hiss, watch out, it's Jet 2.0. <laughs> I've become a, a newer, speedier, more enhanced version of the old me. I now love my names for what they are, for what they aren't, and the betweenness that, that they capture, because I finally learned to love the uniqueness that is me. So if you're ever on the market for a name, drop me a line. My family is a great astrologer. <laughs>